Appraisers, in this video we're going to be going over the two methods you have for loading property information into Spark. Now the first method and most preferred method is to upload that information from your MLS file. So essentially what you do is you go into your MLS, you choose your properties, and you export them. And then when you get that export file from your MLS, that's what you load into here. So all I do is I click this, and I choose that file I got from my MLS that has all my properties in it, and I click open. That's loading in the information, and not only is it loading in the MLS information, it's also going to CoreLogic, and it's grabbing all the public records data for those properties and loading that in as well. As you can see, it's already been done, and now I'm going to go ahead and load in my subject property information. Now for this, I'm going to show you the other method, which is to type in the information. Now the reason this is not the preferred method is because not only does it take longer because you have to manually type in the information, uh, essentially you got to type in the parcel ID or the address, uh, but not only does it take longer because you got to type in the parcel or address, but also you get less information because it's only going to get the public records data. It's not going to get the MLS data as well. Whereas when we uploaded, we got both uh, pieces of data, MLS and public records. When you type, you only get the public records. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. So I'm going to click here. You choose your county and your state, of course. And then you choose whether you want to load in the information from parcel ID or address. I'm going to choose address and then type in this information myself. And then when you're all set, you hit get data. And now that's done. So I'm all set now. By the way, before we move on, I'm going to show you that you can click more comp options. You can load in rentals, properties into the listings addenda, or the REO listings addenda. But I'm done, so I'm going to hit next. And now here's our grid. You can see all the information. And then just to show you one more thing, Spark allows you to load up to 30 properties into each of these tabs. So right now, we have 14 loaded into the comps grid. I'm going to go ahead and add one more just to show you how. So you click the plus button, and then you have the option again of either typing or uploading, but let's say I want to load in a FISBO. So it hasn't been listed. I click type. I'm going to go ahead and get that information typed into here. I'm going to choose my state and I'm going to type address again. And then you just hit get data. And if you're done, once that grabs it, you just hit done. And now it's loaded that property information in. You can see that's right here. And now here you kind of get an example of why uh, uploading a file is preferred. Look at comp 12, which is a sale, versus comp 15, or even comps 13 and 14. You do get more information here than you do get here. Okay, that's it. Thanks everybody for watching.